Hi everybody, Greg and David Wesson here uh, to break into your day because today is a feast of the church and now that we're getting back things happening at, uh, at Holy Trinity in a more rich way, we're ready to break in with some more feast videos and today is the feast of St. Mary the Virgin yep. and David Wesson has been nice enough to come join me in this. So um, we're just going to do our old format uh, that Mother Jen and I would do. You're going to read some scripture, and we're going to talk about it and then pray a little bit. Great. Okay, so this is from the Daily Office uh, Lectionary. It's the wedding at Cana and John's Gospel. That is uh, Jesus' first miracle. So, his mother answered the servants, do whatever he tells you. Now, standing there were six stone water jars for the Jewish rites of purification, each one holding 20 or 30 gallons. Jesus said to them, fill the jars with water, and they were filled to the brim. All right. Yeah. So I'll go first. My, okay. um, any, any feast involving Mary, uh, I tend to always pivot straight to the idea of Theotokos, this idea that Mary is the God bearer and to, to really spend a little time, at least internally, just imagining the implications of of Mary um, having within her body, within her womb, mm -hmm. the presence of of the Son of God, of God incarnate, and um, and I think that because I'd never really had considered that, and I'd never heard the term until I was in seminary, which was about eighteen years ago, seventeen years ago. I think I'm my first two decades. I think are just going to be spent on that one. Yeah. I'll just I'll just sit with that for a few yeah. more years. Um, but it's, it's powerful to me just to imagine, um, I guess I just always thought of Mary as like a faithful servant, mm -hmm. but then when you think of her as literally carrying the presence of God in your, yeah. inside you, I mean, that's a, that's just a whole nother thing. But, um, that's all I ever come to when we get to Mary. How about you, David? What, what's so up with you? One of the, um, interesting things about this feast to me is it's it's really controversial in the history of church and in ecumenism so between the relationships that the different churches have to each other but one of the ways that um, people have found to kind of square the circle mm -hmm. is uh, it's called studied ambiguity so it's within this feast within Marian theology as a whole you just studied ambiguity so be purposefully vague in describing it and within that there's there's three movements so it's first relate the, the theology, in this case, the feast day, right, to Christ, and then to the resurrection and Christ's consummation of time, and then to the church. So, like, for this day, you can look at, you know, not only this readings, but Mary pointing to Christ, directing the church to Christ, directing us to follow Christ, and then from that, from her example, from her model, we have an image of how to be a faithful servant to Christ, so that we too can share in his life. And you, the way you put it when we were just kind of thinking through this, mm -hmm. getting ready to make our video, is that um, there are all these possible interpretations or understandings of, of Mary and her role and, and her ultimate fate and all this stuff, but that the key was, if you understand that they're all pointing to Christ. And they're all, the, the, the point of it is Mary's not special. I mean, it sounds kind of jarring to say it that bluntly, but... Mary is sharing in the same fate that all Christians and all people share in through Christ, and this feast celebrates that. So I could spend at least a decade just wrapping my head around that one. <laughs> Maybe I will. All right, well, let's pray. Um, we'll pray the collect for today. Let me get to the right page. Here we are. Let us pray. O God, who has taken to thyself the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of thy incarnate Son, grant that we who have been redeemed by his blood may share with her the glory of thine eternal kingdom. Through the same thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. May share with her the glory. All right. Thank you, David. Thank you. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. Uh, a happy feast of St. Mary the Virgin. Y'all have a great day. Bye now.